because it's Homeschool Global's Family Fun Day 2018. Let's come together. If you want to see how we have fun in Homeschool Global, keep watching. What's your name? Alea. This is Alea, guys, and how old are you? I'm 14 years old. Are you enjoying here at Family Fun Day? Yes, I am. Woo! Hi, Elijah! <laughs> Hi, what's your name? My name is Alea. Alea, how old are you? Six years old. You're six years old. Are you excited for Family Fun Day? Yeah! <laughs> okay, high five! So now I'm chilling here at the side of the stage, resting because I'll be hosting this event just like Family Fun Day 2017. I'm very excited to see all the kids and their parents have fun as they come together here. I'm with some homeschoolers from the Dance Club of HG who will lead us in a Zumba morning. Hey guys, are you excited for later? Yeah. is to provide opportunities for homeschoolers through socialization, development, and mentorship in order to start a godly revolution. Congratulations in this year of serving. And our vision is to see a revolution of young people being the best version of themselves. I present to you the Homeschool Achievers representatives. I'm very happy to have an opportunity to interview our homeschool achievers. Oh, hi! Hi! <laughs> Harmi is a world golfer. Yana Chua, who is a math genius, guys. As in, ang galing niya sa math. <laughs> Feline was part of the cast of The Sound of Music Manila. And Freya was part of the finalists during the audition. Luis Mabula! Oh, hello! So I've known Luis since she was... I think 10? Yeah, yeah 11, I think so, yeah. <laughs> what were the other accomplishments that you experienced? My most recent was becoming a youth ambassador for the United Nations. I also got a fellowship with the United Nations from the Resolution Project for my social venture, the Cacao Project. So that's something I'm working on right now. I was also given the award for best dessert in Asia by Disciples wow. Escoffier by and the way, a lot she of makes things. Amazing yeah. desserts. I've oh, tried thank them. You. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I always want to share my desserts with people like, and friends. And I have so much time to bake when I'm homeschooling because usually my textbooks are splattered with flour and eggs and chocolate just because I'm studying while cooking and baking. Yeah. <laughs> I graduated from Ateneo de Manila University. I studied BS Applied Mathematics, specializing in mathematical finance. And now I am currently taking my master's in the same degree. It's amazing how you've been part of so many competitions around the world. Can you tell us about the major competition that you were part of? It's called World Junior, uh, World Junior Girls Championship. I placed fourth and then last year I placed tenth again. So it was nice. It was a nice experience to have. And our team won it 2016. Ooh, Harmi got a scholarship from University of Georgia. So I was homeschooled for four years. The truth is I, was, I didn't always love math. When I was younger, it was something I was good at. I've always been good at it, but I never loved it. Not until I was in high school that I was homeschooled. Mm. Then that's when I really found a passion to pursue what I wanted. It was actually math. And so I started looking deeper into it. It wasn't just something I was good at. I wanted to see 
more of it. It is such a beautiful thing. It teaches you actually a lot of perseverance yeah. because there are many times that you can't always find the solution but then you keep going and you keep going and then finally when you do find that solution suddenly it's exhilarating. So if you're having a hard time with math, don't lose hope just like Yana, she didn't like math at first but then look at her now, a math genius and she's going places. What do you love about homeschooling? You can study anywhere. When you have rehearsals, you can study there, right? Yeah. And you're not pressured? No, because it's more easy. One of the things homeschooling has really instilled in me, even in college, that you shouldn't limit yourself. Yeah. So I joined a lot of organizations. I was part of the student government for my first three years in college. And then I was an officer for the, our organization, the Ateneo Student Exchange Council, yeah. for my final year of college. Throughout that, in, for the last three years, I've been training in Muay Thai. So I think homeschooling really gave me this vision to not, don't just limit yourself, go farther. Like, find what you want to do, but don't limit yourself to that. And it carried on to my college life. I didn't just limit myself to my academics. The foundation that you built during your grade school or high school while you're homeschooling, you can also bring it until college. I think I love control of your own time and also to tailor fit your education to yourself and the opportunities that you can unlock because you have so much time on your hands and you can you have your education in the palm of your hand. You can do whatever you want and you can learn the skills that you want yeah. to learn and incorporate all of that into your study. And that's my most favorite part about homeschooling. Can you tell us, what are the challenges you faced to become a homeschool achiever? I think it's balancing both work and all of my challenges. And um, when it comes to homeschooling was kind of getting the discipline to study and yeah. then work at the same time and also <laughs> to learn new skills and do all yeah. sorts of things. Was it helpful that your parents were there with you side by side in every opportunity that you received? Oh, it was so helpful. My, with my parents' support in not only teaching me in homeschooling but kind of pushing me to become better <laughs> and to um, to do greater things. That was, that's priceless. So they're always there for you and you have more, um, you have a better family bond. It was great because we're both learning together yeah. when it comes to like Bible we study together and it's more fun to learn it's more um, cohesive and it's a better environment when you're learning with your parents yeah one of the hardest parts for me was multitasking I really have to multitask a lot but how so, did you deal with that I just had to do it all the time like every day it's just really uh, trust trust the process keeping yeah. pace with your studies because I think a lot of homeschoolers will uh, relate to this. True. There's just so many times that you just don't want to study and you yeah. just want to rest or play and do stuff. Yes. So how did you deal with that? Uh, I think it's looking towards a vision and when you see that vision, when you have that vision, then you start working to make yourself that version to achieve what you want. What can you say to our viewers, especially the kids who want to be homeschool achievers just like you? Follow your dreams, work hard, and always pray. And just listen to your parents. Number yeah. one, <laughs> listen to your parents. You believe in yourself and put God in your heart. How we fight the challenge is we always pray to God. Self-discipline, spend a lot of time with your parents and with mentors and with friends and learn a lot from them. Yeah. Work hard to gain more opportunities and take advantage of being homeschooled to make the most of your time for other activities and exploring what you're good at. Your biggest competition is yourself. You don't have to be the best in everything, but at the end of the day, if you're a better version of yourself, then you are a cheaper. Look out, cause here I come. I'm gonna march in on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. We have some boots by homeschoolers themselves. I'm here right now at the High Night booth with ladies who are working so hard like them, right? They're working so hard so you guys can have some awesome merch. So we have some High Unite merchandise, right? Right here. Get Woo! it, get it, get it. We have a jail booth. So the high schoolers will get people and put them in jail. And here are the people captured. So what's your name? My name is Andy. Hi, Andy. 
Auntie, how old are you? I'm 14. To go out, you have to wait like five minutes and then answer a riddle. Or you can buy merchandise. So I just waited and then answered the riddle. Mm -hmm. Let's come together! Now I am here at the Writing Club booth. Hey guys! Hey, what's up? We're selling some handwritten yeah. stories. And we sell coffee. So they have stickers made by the Writing Club members, am I right? Yes, yes. they are. Cool stickers, guys! So this is the docu-talk, taking photos and videos of families having fun together. <laughs> this is the music club booth, and they have their instruments over here. Head of the music club, Jimmy. Uh, and over here, we're having a jamming session. The dance club booth! We have like pang Instagram. So pi para mga signs na kunwari pagod ako, charades, ayan. The mga members, hello everyone. And that's basically it for the dance booth here at Family Fun Day. Hi guys! What are your names? Larisse and Emil. And Linnea. How do you find Family Fun Day? It was really fun. Lots of activities. Lit. Lit in general. So family fun is lit? Yeah. Thank you guys. Lit. Alright. So if there are clubs, there are also varsities. And I'm here at the varsity booth. Sir, maybe you'd like to try it. If you can beat any one of us for five pesos, we're going to sign your card and you can get the prize in the redemption booth. Anyone with the hopeful global varsity basketball shirt. So for the varsity booth, they have basketball and volleyball as well. So you will get to experience what it feels like to be a varsity member. Hi! Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Enzo. Enzo, how old are you? I'm 14. So what do you feel right now? Uh, I feel great. You feel great to work? Um, we're earning money. <laughs> yeah. here at the homeschool fair and there are a lot of amazing dudes. One of them is the silver screen photo booth. These are my friends. This is Joe Hello. and Skip. Hello. And I'm gonna try their awesome trampoline photo booth. <laughs> there are a lot of amazing booths by homeschoolers. You can see mommies, daddies and their kids selling food or products. So why don't we try to see what they have for us? Let's come together! Let's come together! I saw one booth filled with young homeschoolers. Why don't we check it out? Hi guys! Hi. Hello! Hi. We got some stickers and bookmarks and for more sports. You can also personalize your own. Who else is buying the stickers? Can you raise your hand? I make these Gigatrons, which are paper food and robots. If you remember the Alindado family, we featured them on HSTV. Yeah. This is I Mommy Jackie. Hi, but my daughter and my son, they make um, chocolate chip cookies. And here are the other moms and dads in charge of the booth. Hi. Hope you guys had fun watching this vlog. If you like it, please do click the like button and share and subscribe. Yay! This is Miko O'Hara and you're watching Homeschool Adventures. See ya! <laughs> you know what, twins? I think we're missing someone else from the center. Why don't we call Cheska? Cheska! Hi, Cheska. Hi. Why don't we do a cover with the twins? Sure, let's get something from Annie. Okay, okay. One, two, three, go! It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Static, she did. We can't trick. Static, he said. We can't.